Back to the Metropolitan Police now, as 33-year-old Christina O'Connor, Des O'Connor's daughter, is said to be taking action against the police after how she was treated by 43-year-old DCI James Mason following an attempted mugging back in 2011. Christina O'Connor says that she was sexually harassed by the detective who faced a misconduct hearing and who was found guilty of breaching professional standards, but kept his job and is now the Poisonous Dwarf's top aide. Mason was a DS at the time of the incident, but is now Detective Chief Inspector. Maybe a promotion was awarded for the great work he did in managing to keep his job after a misconduct hearing. His hearing was held on the 5th of October 2021, 10 years after the incident took place, where he was found guilty and given a final written warning to remain on file for just three years. Miss O'Connor, the daughter of late entertainer Des O'Connor, is now launching a judicial review against the Met for enabling and normalising misogyny. That last bit is a description given by mainstream media about enabling and normalising misogyny. Personally, I'm fed up of people using these terms when the police in general continuously fail to uphold their professional standards in all areas. People forget that being found guilty of misconduct, whether it by a misconduct hearing or a court, should be dealt with as misconduct in public office and reference to the fact that misconduct in public office is a common law offence with a maximum sentence of life imprisonment. Bearing in mind that common law offences are crimes under English criminal law and should be dealt with by a court and not a hearing panel. In my opinion, of course. Christina O'Connor has launched the Judicial Review after accusing the Met and the head of the police conduct panel of leading a flawed investigation and failing to deal with her complaint adequately. Again, I say that it's not just her. It's everyone the police come into contact with and not just the Met. I mean, every police force too. She added... The first step would be the Met acknowledging there's a culture of misogyny, even if the even in the tiny minority of cases like mine where the perpetrator is brought before a panel, charged and finally convicted of misconduct, my experience tells me that they are still protected, their jobs considered more important than my safety and my faith in the police. If what I have seen is the process by which the Met is held to account, it is woefully inadequate and something needs to change. A Met Police spokesperson said, We recognise that there is need for a real change in the Met. We are committed to creating an environment that is intolerant to those who do not uphold the high values and standards expected of us. This work has been ongoing in recent months and will continue with the independent, far-reaching review led by Baroness Casey of Blackstock. The review will ask difficult questions of us to ensure there are lasting improvements to the service that we provide for all Londoners. He added, the victims of crime should have the confidence and trust to come to the police and receive support and professionalism. More word salad from the police's PR department. Baroness Casey will apparently lead a review into Scotland Yard's culture and vetting process which will re-examine historical sexual misconduct allegations involving officers still serving in the force. A separate independent inquiry announced by Home Secretary Priti Patel last week will investigate the systemic failures that allowed cousins, as in Wayne cousins, to be employed as a police officer despite reports of indecent exposure and other signs he could be dangerous. Well, that's just the kind of people the police want, isn't it? Worrying times, people. Worrying times. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other. Film the police and other officials.